Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com and I want to take in a new launcher. This is the Regina launcher for Android. It's pretty cool. It's got kind of a cold feel to it, very metallic, uh, but it's very, very usable and kind of slick when it comes to 3D. So let's see, up top here we have a little flipping clock and you'll see it spin here a few times. Um, and you've got kind of your normal home screens, but really nice uh, transition animation between them. I like that a lot. So there's your clock. It also has a weather widget up top. Uh, so here's the deal, like I want to search for uh, Pensacola and we'll search for the city list here because that's where I am. Pensacola, no, not Pensacola, R. Pensacola. And search and it can't find it. That's kind of a big fail. If your weather service doesn't find, you know, this isn't that small a town. Now you can search by, you know, like region code or whatever, but I have no idea what that is. So that kind of sucks, that's not good. Let's show you what it looks like when it actually works. We'll fire up, say, Anchorage, Alaska, and you'll see the clock start flipping back, so now it thinks I'm in Anchorage and it's 27 degrees this morning. Sorry guys, kind of cold. Uh, but the weather looks nice, that's not bad. Uh, you know, unfortunately it just doesn't work where I am. You got a counter widget down here and that's cool. Now on an HTC Sense phone, I use this on the Thunderbolt and nothing shows up. So it doesn't really like that calendar that much right now and that's no good. See that little information uh, button there? You push that and it flips over and you can change how big the widget is and you can change the calendar app that you're using with the widget. So you can play with that some and maybe get it to work for you. There's a to-do screen. I have nothing to do apparently. That's not true, I have a lot to do. Um, let me show you how it looks when you actually do change the size of, change the number of quote rows. We'll change it to four, and then flip back to the other side, and watch it shrink. There we go, kinda cool, huh? Nice, nice animations. So here's a blank screen all the way on the left, and if you hold down, you can add things just like normal. You can add some Regina widgets, shortcuts, Android widgets, whatever. Uh, here's an extra one you can stick on there. They have an app manager, that's cool. Flip it over and uh, show you what it looks like when you shrink it with apps on it. And again, pretty similar. Zzzz, they show up, cool. Uh, here's another one you can add. You can add, come on finger, come on finger. You can add missed calls, missed texts, cool. Uh, let's look on the other side. We have, there's a larger calendar widget, nice. And another blank home screen, cool. So uh, down here in the corners, you have what look like little rivets and they light up when you uh, touch them. They don't actually do anything, but you know, I like shiny lights, so that's cool. Uh, show you how to flip back and forth between them all. And you see when I start to uh, move my thumb up like that, they seem they want to fly, but they don't quite. So here's what you get, right? If you hold it down, you get a cool little way to transition between them. It's not quite as smooth as I would like, and you get a lot of weird vibrations from it, but it's an easy way to flip back and forth, or you can also hit the home button again. So, cause everybody's ripped off since on that at this point. Here's the launcher with all your apps. Now say you want to uh, add an app to a home screen. Let's uh, go find a blank home screen here. And we'll add say trip it. Just add the uh, icon there, hold just like normal. Now if you want to get rid of it, you have two options down there on the bottom. You have a trash can and that will delete it from the uh, workspace. They call home screens workspaces or you can uninstall, so that's nice. And we just want to delete it, so we will delete it. Let's take a look at some of the actual uh, app settings. There's another way to bounce around the workspaces there. They put that in the menu, which is nice. And then you have actual settings for the launcher. So you can have secret workspaces and hide things from people. Uh, endless rotation, that's cool. So it does just keep rotating throughout the home screens and you don't hit a stop on the left and the right. That's nice if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, let's see what else we got. Workspace names, vibration, backup and restore, that's important. Uh, reflection, you can change how all that works. Set settings, blah, 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 blah. Persistent mode, cool. So all in all, it's a pretty good uh, launcher. It's a tad slower than I'd like, but it's very, very functional and nice transitions and graphics. See ya.